build a life on. I realize that there's going to be a rescue, and it might not be the one I want. Maybe I don't see that next Christmas. Um, and then I, then it hit, then it really God came at me and said, "You've trusted me for a long time, but do you trust me with that?" And that's a different level of trust. I've been, man, I vacation Bible school trust, Sunday school trust, small group Bible study trust, even some opportunities to to preach in a church trust, all that kind of trust. Man, I've had that trust. This was different. This was kind of like God saying, this is like a level of trust. We either go here or maybe we part ways. <laughs> that sounds harsh. God's not harsh. But he was that serious with me at that moment. I was driving to work, I remember it. It was a morning when I was still trying to fake like I was not a cancer patient. You know, I was trying to fake like maybe this was all gonna go away. And I was having this uh, conversation in the car with God. And I remember um, deciding in that moment that this is the moment I have to decide. Am I gonna trust him even if the rescue is gonna be something different than I, what I want? And as if he needed my permission, I granted it. <laughs> and I said, okay, you're in my life with this. I'm gonna trust you. And that's when I really realized what firm grip living meant to me out of that verse. I'll hold you steady, keep a firm grip on you. Firm grip, firm grip doesn't mean I'm gonna fix it all. A firm grip means I care, I love you enough, I've got a plan, and it's gonna be okay no matter what. So this book came out of that. That's where the title comes from. That verse is on the inside of the front flap, because that's where it needs to be, because it's everything that this book is based on. And I wanted it, and, and as I lived into that, I, I started, okay, if I can trust him with my life, even if that means he's going to have, how much more can I live with confidence in all areas of my life? And five months after I was diagnosed was the first glimpse we had. I spent five months on, not knowing. Five months after, first glimpse we had after some testing that the surgery worked far better than ever expected, far better than it typically ever does with this really, really rare type of cancer. Chemo's not an option, radiation's not an option. Either surgery <coughs> works and you're gonna buy time or it doesn't and you're gonna die. Five months into it, we found out, okay, my clock got set back. And so then is when I realized I'm not gonna die right now, at least not yet. So how do I wanna live for whatever time is left? And firm grip became the way I chose to live, saying that if, if I can trust God to be held in his firm grip, even if this fire is going to be the end, then I'm gonna live with a firm grip confidence in all aspects of my life, my relationships with my wife, my kids, my coworkers, my friends, um, how, I, how, I, how much time do I waste worrying about what people think of me and, and living in ways to seek other people's approval or um, chapter or uh, section two with all these life, I call them life markers. They're gauges to help us determine how well we're living or not. Um, and I chose to just take this firm grip confidence into all areas of my life. And, and I've been asked, you know, what is the most important thing you think you've learned out of this? And gosh, there's so many, but all of them are driven by one thing living awake and aware and being intentional with my moments. Every day when we get up, whether we realize it or not, we make a decision on what type of energy we're gonna walk out the door with. And we're gonna take that into every place we go, every room we walk into, every conversation we have, <coughs> we are gonna take that. And what I realized was I wasn't making that choice every morning. I was walking out the door and letting whatever circumstances were gonna be that day drive my attitude and my energy. Which means if the morning started out great, man, I was full of great energy. Come see me. This is a good time to see Bill because he's, man. And then when something goes bad at the office or wherever, you know, it's like falling off a, you know, a 10 foot wave and crashing onto the ocean floor. And now, and so I'm riding this roller coaster. And, and 
when I realize, you know, I can wake up in the morning and decide today how I'm going to take that energy and not let the circumstances drive it. Now, that doesn't mean crappy things don't happen. Crappy things still happen during the day. This, this firm grip lifestyle I promote isn't going to solve any problems. You're still going to have them. Days are going to suck. Diagnosis are going to come. Parents are going to die. Spouses are going to walk out a door. Ask Julie West. Kids die. Days can suck. But when we wake up in the morning and say, no matter what you bring this into my life today, universe, God, whatever happens, I'm going to control the energy. I can respond to that. I can control what I, how I respond. And that is the greatest <coughs> gift that I've been given through this, is the ability to live more awake and more aware and be intentional about how I live my life. Now, I, and, what, and what that does, that doesn't mean I'm, I, I do well all day long. I have asked my wife, I have days, I mean, I start out great, and man, I'm in the tank soon. But by living, when I, when I am conscientious about living awake and aware and living intentional, I can be aware of it now. I'm aware that, man, you have sunk, dude. You started out in the morning, you know, you started out firm gripping it, man, you lost it. In the past, I, I just, okay, this is what's going on, right? This is what I gotta deal with. I'm awake and aware now and intentional. By being awake and aware and intentional, all these life markers in section two, I, I can I can check in. I can say, hey, you're not doing so good on this one. You know, let's 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 make some let's make some new choices right now. Right now at 2:30 in the afternoon, whatever time it may be, we're going to reset the clock for today. We're going to we're going to reclaim that positive energy, um, and I'm going to bring that into my relationships. And, and then I realized, I mean, I have been given this, granted this, really. This hope, this really incredible new way to look at, at living, and I call it firm grip living. And how do I not share that? So I started talking to some friends about it, about what I was learning. They're like, "You got to write about that." So I wrote a couple little articles and shared them with some people. Like, and they loved it. They said, "You got to write bigger." What do you mean bigger? Just write more. Write more. I want to start writing more, and I didn't stop. <laughs> and it became a book. <laughs> Because you know what? Every single one of you, everybody downstairs, everybody in those cars driving by right now, they're either in it or they're gonna be in it. And life is gonna really suck. Something's gonna happen and it's gonna suck. And, and I don't offer this book to them to fix those problems. I offer this book to them and to anyone who's interested in reading it. Because in the middle of it, despite those struggles, there is a better way of being human and we can choose it. We can choose it. So that's where the book came from. Gosh, I'm glad you're here um, <coughs> listening to me read and, and talk about it. Um, and I would love to answer any questions you have about what